Okay. Uh, because of a whole lot of problems with um, my camera, my computer, and YouTube, uh, this is now a fifth video. And there you'll see the, in the dates of these videos that there's a huge gap between um, the fourth video and the fifth. And that was because I was debating on whether what I was going to do on the fifth uh, what all I was going to include and talk about. Um, and also I moved. So different setting here. This is the basement of where I'm at. Don't worry, it's um, pretty good storage here for these items. It's not going to, there's not going to be spiders jumping out at you when you open these packages when you buy this. Um, these are the three boxes that the uh, items will be in. Uh, as you'll see on top here, I just found this finally after the move. Uh, it was in my comic books, but I couldn't find it before to move uh, in time to make the video and all this other stuff. This is, um, it's not sealed. I kind of had my own, like, Ziploc baggie around the back of it. That kind of ages it, doesn't it? Popples. But, um, Masters of the Universe, the motion picture uh, from Star and Marvel Comics. So, uh, I think Star was their division of, Marvel's division of, um, you know, making comics based off movies. But yes, this is uh, somewhat in good condition considering how old it is. Um, it's a little frayed here and there. Um, but the pages still turn. It's not falling apart when you when you pay, turn the pages. The color isn't faded too much. Let me open it up and show you. This will be included in the package. So color isn't too too bad no more faded than it was when I first got it uh, the story of this it's it's kind of funny because the story of this is a little different than the story in the actual Dolph Lundgren Masters Universe He-Man movie but you know they did that in comics um, remember a lot of Transformers comics were very different from the cartoon that Marvel did the comics that is although the Marvel Orchestra did the, do the music, the theme song for Transformers. But we're talking about He-Man here. Okay, so let me show you what's in the boxes. Um, I'm not going to show you all the contents because you've already seen most of that in um, videos four through um, or one through four. But uh, here's Castle Grayskull and Snake Mountain. They're together. Before I had them in their own boxes, the Rubbermaid boxes, but um, I ran out of Rubbermaid boxes as I was selling stuff on eBay. This is kind of going to be my eBay central. This right, these four boxes that I've got here are nothing but packing material, and so is this this bag right here. Nothing but packing material. So don't worry, these will be packed better than what I'm showing here. I've just got this out to show you what it, what it looks like, and once it's going to be actually shipped away, then I will pack the hell out of it, um, which includes this, I will be um, probably taping or rubber banding his mouth shut because it's a little loose, um, it's not broken, the hinges you can see, but I remember other kids, their battle bones were broken, that's going to be on the top of the second box, also um, in the second box I have things in here that I didn't talk about in the other videos. This. I bought this much later. This is not a part of the He-Man original um, 80s toy series. But it does have the original 80s toy or 80s cartoon of Diamond Ray of Disappearance. It's a VHS, believe it or not. They, they sold this in like 2002 or 2003. I can't remember. I, uh, I could be completely wrong about that. But I remember it was the early 2000s and yes, they sold it with a with a VHS tape, I guess. They either made these, I couldn't believe that they would, or they had a bunch of extra episodes um, just laying there. This, it still works, uh, I believe. I have the power! Yeah, it, the, the, I did open it up, as you can see, um, but I was very careful when I opened it up that, you know, there's still some um, craziness going on there with the packaging, but I didn't open the packaging all the way up to where, you know, it's in pieces. 
So you can still get the video out, you can still get He-Man out, and still have somewhat, not really a competent case, but, you know, it's not, I wouldn't call it new in box, that's for sure. Um, not that I'm into doing that kind of stuff anyway. But um, there was other videos and stuff too. Of course, you know, nowadays, they're pretty soon, I think they're in their, what is it, the 30th anniversary of He-Man, they're going to have... Um, you know, a new DVD box set, probably, and all this other stuff. This was the, the newer sword from the newer cartoon series, I think. But this armor isn't from the newer cartoon series or whatever. This is just crazy armor. He's like a barbarian, but he's also like a prince. It's like crazy. And his head is like hunched forward. and He's got a big hump on his back and that's a little dusty. This was stored pretty nicely but it does have a little bit of dust on it so um it's a battle sound he-man you'll that will be included in this set i had battle bones on top of it kind of to pad it uh i also was debating this was one of the things that i was debating about whether i would give you the comics whoever is going to buy this collection i found this website and it has like all of the, most all of the comics backed up. In fact, I have some comics that they don't. So I'm going to scan those and send them uh, to them. Well, maybe not necessarily comics, but, you know, these books. That I, other books I've got, like activity books and coloring books and all that sort of stuff. This is definitely 80s material here. But comics I've got in here. I've got a little Ziploc bag. We've got <clears throat> this, which they never finished. It says, The Legend Begins. This was like the last comic that they made. It was around the time when the dinosaur um, characters came out. Um, that was uh, a first of a three-part saga, and it's funny because um, there is <laughs> only one of them, and they never finished it. Uh, this, These are the, definitely the older ones. I've got uh, He-Man and the Insect People. This is the Powers of Grey Skull, by the way. Uh, the Legend Begins. This is Dragon's Gift. I like that one. This is Siege of Avion. This is Clash of Arms. The Clash of Arms. Slave City. All these comics, for how old they are, they're in pretty good condition. Double-edged sword. Um, Battle of Robots. The Battle of Robots, The Stench of Evil, the Stink Or, and Moss Man, Spike Or Strikes, um, Skeletor's Dragon, Hordak, The Ruthless Leader's Revenge, um, Mantana, and The Menace of the Evil Horde, uh, Leech, The Master of Power Suction Unleashed. The Treachery of Machulak. Escape from the Slime Pit. The Warrior Machine. The Fastest Draw in the Universe. You can't really see the title of that. There's two of these of the Cosmic Key. This is kind of a prelude to the movie. Um, then there was King of the Snake Men. And then, yes, I've got two copies of uh, The Legend Begins. I think the only thing that's obvious on one of these, one of these has got a tear on it, I think, on the back, but it's not so bad since there's uh, so many of them. I'm going to put these back in order later. Um, I remember I used to have a, a mini comic that came with one of the figures. I think it was... Um, uh, Mechanic, and it was like the obelisk of something or other. Uh, I don't have it. <clears throat> I don't know what happened to it. It's a travesty. Um, but I will give you the website. Um, I can't remember the name of it right now. But I will probably put uh, either a... I probably can't put a link there. Well, yeah, I can put a link there. Um, I'm going to try to cross-promote since, you know, like I said, I had material that they don't have. Um, uh, they've got the cover of one of these books. I can't remember which one this is. This is Sticker Fun. Uh, it's a golden book. Uh, two other golden books. Tracing Color. 
and another tracing color. Um, and then there was this. I found this at a place called Game Swap. It's a local uh, store. I'm going to cross promote with them too. There's going to be two different things I'm going to do online uh, cross promotion because since I, I I'm hoping that they'll promote the, this collection to fellow collectors of He-Man stuff um, on their website because I'm going to give them uh, at least one or two of these uh, activity books. I can scan all the pages and give them the that um give them that data for their because they've got archives of the comic books and all the other stuff. Um, I can give them that data <clears throat> uh, in exchange for maybe promoting uh, this collection because I, I really need to sell it. I really need the money and I want it to go to a serious collector. And um, in this box, there's uh, this is a lighter box compared to the third box. Um, is that collection of, or this is the Evil Hordes um, play sets, which was the Slime Pit and the, um, uh, what was the name of the, uh, the um, one of these comic books will have the name, the uh, Fright Zone um, was in there. But yes, this was a, I found this, speaking of the cross promotion, I know I'm going here, there, and everywhere. But cross promotion uh, with the website, uh, which I will have a link to. Uh, I'm also going to do cross promotion with a local store here, just in case I can find somebody locally to buy it so I don't have to pay so much on shipping. By the way, the shipping will be included in the price of this. The shipping is free, but I'm kind of implanting it in the first bid. Um, you might think that the first bid is kind of hefty, but these are three big boxes, and it's going to cost a little change to ship them uh, especially the way i'm going to pack them and everything and, um this is actually a magazine from the uk when i saw this p on here i was like 35 pence oh that's that's like you know uk money and i was right this is um they have the masters of the universe club on here and then and then i see the british pound sterling symbol right there so i was like oh yeah this is british um, but yeah, this is a British, uh, by the power of Grey Skull, Masters of the Universe, um, kind of comic, full-size comic. Um, what is this? Every Fortnight Comics, I guess is what it's called, uh, or the company is called. So, I found this at GameSwap, and, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to see if I can, I have a friend there, or a couple friends, but, um, one friend in particular who runs the place or either helps run the place or whatever he um <clears throat> he uh could hopefully put some flyers up around his store because they sell memorabilia as well as comics as well as you know movies they sell just about everything there it's a great place to go to if you're in the uh dayton or kettering ohio area that's it's a really great place to go to get used um stuff and to sell your stuff they they give you cash instead of <clears throat> instead of um credit in store credit uh um i know i keep saying um but i'm kind of doing this in, in a rush uh but yeah <clears throat> uh this works there you go i'm missing one of the pieces the eraser is definitely chewed up torn to pit bits it wouldn't fit in an activity box so a teacher of mine started to rip it apart so that it would fit you know i, I think the truth is they didn't like he-man and all other popular toys or whatever um or cartoon shows or whatever these this is one of those teachers that thought that teenage mutant Ninja turtles made kids violent or some bullshit like that <clears throat> but anyway, um, she violently ripped up this He-Man thing, and so I did find all the pieces except for one chunk right here, his right leg. <laughs> but uh, And I did use a little bit, but it's a used eraser. It's a little broken, but whatever. I, I found it, and I thought, oh, okay, well, I'll just put that with that with this collection. So these are the extra goodies. How the package is going to be packed... There's um, two boxes in this one. A smaller box with the um, 
figures on the top, and then a um, medium-sized box with a box about this size. As you can see, there's the top of the box right there, and then there's about this much depth between them. Well, it's about the same thing here, almost. It might be a smaller box than that. No, no, it's about the same size as this one. It's both small boxes. And that has vehicles, or vehicle parts in it. So the top one has figures. The figures. And they're packed in there pretty tight. These are Rubbermaid Roughneck. You can actually store this stuff in this stuff. So that's, you know, that's included in the price too, or free, or however you want to say it. But, um... I think this is a great collection. I know the price um, I'm initially putting it up for may seem hefty, especially in this day and age. And, you know, but this could help complete or start off a gigantic collection for you. Again, uh, I was looking this website that I'm talking about. It's like he-man-something.org. It's an organization um, definitely run by fans. A really great place. I hope to do a cross-promotion with them by giving them some data from some of these books that they don't have. Um, uh, they had a checklist on there, and I was a little worried to look for a checklist, a, a Google thing, because I was afraid that I was going to be missing tons and tons of figures and that this couldn't be called a near-complete collection. It really can't be called a near-complete collection, but it is a pretty big collection. Um, <clears throat> I know I'm rambling here, but uh, I just want to reiterate that I went to this website and I um, looked up all the stuff, and I'm not really missing that many characters or that many figures. I'm missing about uh, less than 10 vehicles, um, and I'm missing around 10 to 15 figures, but a lot of the figures are like repeats, like uh, the newer Skeletor with um, blah, blah, blah. Some notable exceptions. I am missing Eternia. Yes, I know. I'm missing Ram Man. I'm missing um, some other goofy stuff. I think there might be actually... I can't remember if I talked about this in one of the other videos. I made some other videos. Uh, well, it's gone now. But there was like a... Uh, I think I did talk about it. Um, some of the videos got corrupted, so I, I can't remember. But um, it was like... You know those... Um, those 25 cent things you would get, uh, and they had a bubble. Uh, they were like vending machines, and you would put in 25 cents a quarter, and uh, one of those bubble things would come out, and it had like muscle men figures. Well, one of them was Zodak uh, with his gun, and uh, another one was a character I thought was a He Man character, but I could be completely wrong. I don't know what it was. But they're both here. They're really tiny, but you know. I think they're in this box, and I'm not going to search through all that right now. That was just a side note. I know I'm going here, there, and everywhere. I said that already. But the website um, let me know that I, I actually do have a pretty good collection here. Uh, I do not include, there was some Japanese toys that they rebranded as He-Man toys. I don't, I don't think that those should be included in the collection. Uh, they were like round figures. I never saw them anywhere. Um when I was going to buy toys. I knew I was missing the black guy. I knew I was missing the elephant. I knew I was missing the mosquito guy. I knew I was missing, you know, older characters like Faker, the original He-Man, the original Skeletor. Um, I knew I was missing um, Ram Man, uh, the Sorceress, King Randor. I thought there was a queen, but according to this collection checklist, there was no queen. Um, I thought I was missing a lot more, and I wasn't. I... I you know, I have a pretty good, good collection here. So um, by talking about that, uh, I just want to reiterate that this is a good starter collection. It's got Castle Grayskull. It's got Snake Mountain. It's got the Hordax Slayer. It's got uh, the Slime Pit. No slime, of course. Uh, I can't remember how many figures that I had last count, but a lot, a lot of the figures... Um, a lot of the vehicles, uh, I got both of the cats, both of the birds, both of the horses, um, and I got battle bones here, <laughs> and, uh, it's going to be all packed nicely, the shipping and the, and the packaging and all that stuff is going to be all included, and I bought, I've got some memorabilia here, too, 
stuff that I was debating on whether I even wanted to give it up. But since I found this website with all the stuff archived and backed up, I figured, hey, you know, uh, I'll make this a more complete collection and give give the buyer um, this stuff. I'm around 20 minutes now. I know I've explained a lot. I'm just saying, you know, since you're paying a lot, I'm telling you what you're getting. And um, I want to make sure that you're happy with this purchase, as happy as I have been when I was a young child playing with these. Again, you know, I uh, hope to cross-promote this with the game swap that I live close by. And I hope to cross-promote this with the, that He-Man.org uh, uh, website. I'm sorry I forget the name, forgot the name. So, uh, sorry about that, guys. But, you know, I am going to cross-promote this. I'm going to try to cross-promote this with both of those. If not, then that's fine, too. I'll just do it straight on eBay and YouTube and do it myself. And, uh, again, I know I'm rambling here, but I'm just trying to remember if I... If, if I'm forgetting anything, um, all these comics are going to be included. The activity books, the figures, the vehicles, the creatures, um, play sets. All this included in this great collection that I'm very sad to get rid of, but I, I really need the money. Um, we just recently moved. I lost my job earlier this year. I'm not trying to give you a sap story or whatever, but um, everybody's hurting right now, and I know that. Uh, I would sell this collection probably for a lot more if everybody wasn't hurting so much. Um, I was originally planning on selling it for probably twice as much as what I'm going to list it as. Um, maybe it might go up that high. Maybe there will be some soul out there who misses their old collection that their mom gave away to Goodwill or some BS like that. Uh, or that got trashed during one of their bad moves. But these were stored... Um, with a lot of care, uh, because I knew someday that this might happen where I had to sell the stuff. So here it is. I'm selling it. And, um, hopefully when it ships to you, it ships in the same condition that I pack it up in. I'm going to pack it real nice for everybody or for the people who bid, uh, and win the bid. And I want to say thank you so much for watching all these videos. Uh, ask me any questions on eBay or on YouTube. Um, and you could also get information if you go to the game swap. Maybe you've heard about this from that. If that goes through, I don't know. I haven't talked with them too much about it yet. And from the website, you know. Uh, like I said, I don't include those Japanese toys. There was also two giant figures. Those came from Europe. And I'm not knocking anything in Europe or anything. But I don't think that they even sold those here in America. Um, if they did, then it was definitely something that was very limited, and I don't include those two giant figures. They were kind of cool, but they were part of a different collection in Europe, and then they just brought them over here. So I don't include those. By not including the Japanese toys, that the round toys that were animals, that, which they brought out like 10 or 12 of those things, um, not including those and not including... Um, uh, the European ones, I have, I would say, a good 80% of the whole collection. Uh, this includes figure, figures, play sets, and vehicles. This is a, I, I, I wouldn't call 80% not, near complete, but I'm going to try to kind of mix words and say 80% complete, um, of the, <clears throat> of the, um, let me see here, of the probably close to 80 toys that they had listed there, I have about close to 60 of them. Uh, so that's even more than 80% in my opinion, but they had 80 some toys, so maybe I should be careful with the, with the numbers there. But at the, at the checklist of that website, they had a bunch of things listed there, and I had most of them. And if you don't include the stuff from Japan and the stuff from Europe, then I have even more of it. So, um, because to me, the, they're, they were branded as He-Man toys, but they weren't really originally He-Man toys. And in fact, they were just kind of like last ditch efforts to try to make money off of the He-Man brand, which, you know, that happens with a lot of toys, you know, um, or with a lot of companies and a lot of other stuff. And I would like to thank you again for watching this. Happy bidding. 
I hope you enjoy the collection once you get it. Ask me any questions. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry this was so long. Sorry there were so many videos. Sorry I was being tedious with a lot of this stuff. But um, I want to make sure that whoever buys this is happy and that I'm happy and get the money that I need. And um, thank you so much for watching. Happy bidding.